Hey guys, it's Jessica Radla from Glamour. I am here on the sparkly blue carpet at the 2013 Women in Film Crystal and Lucy Awards honoring exemplary women in the entertainment industry, such as Sofia Coppola, Haley Steinfeld, the women of Mad Men. So check out what these very powerful women had to say. Hey, it's Haley Steinfeld and we are at the Crystal Lucy Awards. Why is it so important for female actresses and male actresses to support this organization? Oh, I don't know, maybe because we're, what, 51% of the population on this planet? So it's important to tell our stories too. I wonder if I'm having trouble dating and finding a guy. <laughs> well, I know you are presenting tonight to the women of Mad Men. How did, how did that come about? Did they ask you, are you a big fan of the show? Well, they asked me and, and I'm a big fan. Did you see last week's episode? No. And I... <laughs> Please don't tell me. So how has Mad Men rubbed off on you guys? Fashion-wise, we were just saying that we're all sort of a bit retro tonight, and I feel like you you sort of can't avoid that. It's become such a part of fashion, the 60s, and you, you as much as you would try, you kind of can't even not dress like that anymore. And we've been on the show so long now that I think we can. You know, it doesn't matter anymore. We can go back to it. One of my favorite movies you've ever done is one of your earliest, which was Dave, and it came out 20 years yes, ago this summer. That my was dad, one of my very first films. Yes, my yeah. dad took me to the theater. I was literally 13 years old, and it is now one of our favorites. It is. <laughs> we just have the shared bond of Dave. What do you remember most about that time? Because it was one of your first films. It was one of my first. I remember a lot about that movie actually, because I really didn't know what I was doing. Right. Film. I was very, very new to film. I had been on very few sets. It was all a little. You know, I'm a theater kid from New York City, so I was not used to all of it. So I was, I felt a little out of step the whole time, but it was, people were very nice, and Kevin was lovely. Uh, my wonderful agent, Iris, is uh, the head of Women in Film, and, and so I'm so excited to support her. I, I love women, I love film, uh, so I'm, I'm just happy to be here to support everything. Do you think it's possible for Sally to have any role models after what she went through in the last episode? I think at this point she doesn't really, she, adults are not in a good light for her. I don't think she trusts them and I think she thinks adults lie, so at the current moment, no. What's the best advice that you give to young girls starting out in this business? <laughs> Number one, I think the most important thing is to educate yourself to do everything you can to learn about every aspect of your craft. That will fortify you and give you the courage when you embark on in this industry that is very unstable and you know sometimes uh, very dis discouraging. Try to do unto others as you would have them do unto you and try not to treat others the way you wouldn't want you know um, and that really spans all aspects from parenting to you know, interpersonal relationships, professional relationships. I really, really, really try to treat people the way I would want to be treated as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I think it's don't become addicted to the work. Thank you. Because it, it, it has a way of, of taking over your entire life. And it's, it's a very easy thing to happen. If you're fortunate enough to, to have work and work keeps coming, it's very easy just to keep working and then you don't develop as a human being. And you can get a little, uh, you know, out of sync. Follow your heart. Yeah. And, and follow your gut instinct. You know, usually, I think somebody, and now I can't remember who, somebody famous sort of said, if you're going to make a mistake, it may as well be your own, not somebody else's. Be yourself. And, and, and don't be insecure in who you are. Like, embrace who you are and, and be yourself and stay grounded and stay humble. And, and that carried me throughout the whole thing. So Just always try to, try to listen to that inner voice telling you, you know, because there's a voice there that tells you what you need to be doing creatively and embrace it, don't run away from it, don't be scared of it, just be, just listen to it. To have fun and don't take things too seriously. And I sort of live by that. My motto is dream big. I have it, my whole family has, we all have it tattooed on us. And it's just, I feel like it's so important for for people to, to not just settle for second best, but to go after your biggest dreams ever. It's my favorite thing. If, I, if you keep your feet on the ground, how will you ever reach the stars? They always say, follow your dreams. A lot of people say that. I think you got to adjust your dreams a little. I would say be flexible. Tell me, by the way, you look gorgeous. Who are you wearing tonight? Thank you. Uh, well, Max Mara. <laughs> you know, they're very comfortable and loose-fitting and yet stylish, so uh, I didn't even bother with the Spanx tonight. I was like, you know what? You don't need them. 
I'm leaving them at home. I'm just going to have a good time. <laughs> That's so nice there's a little jiggle when I turn around. You know what? It's a room full of women. If you can't jiggle in front of your girls, who can you jiggle in front of?